at the old getting spot, doing some getting. My pressure. It's a Leinen 150 millimeter old German vice. It was found, I don't know, somewhere in a field. I'm pretty sure there's a mouse living inside of it. Was at the steel place, got some steel, got some steel, got some wood, got some schmoo. Let's make a super cool stand for this thing. So I hope that was the best fucking intro you've ever seen because I had to carry this piece of shit all the way over there just for that shot. <coughs> Let's take it apart. Spray her down with a bunch of um, paint removing schmoo, rust removing schmoo. All the ways here are in really good shape, so I checked them already before. None, there's no cracks, no breaks. Everything is still in really nice shape. It opens up so the jaws are 150 millimeters wide. That's what the 150 is. And it opens up to around 30 centimeters. All right, we freeze the bolt, we heat the vise. Slowly running out of ideas here. One eternity later. I think we drill them out. Ha! Thank you. Ha 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 ha. Well, that was a challenge. Oh, you motherfucker. Seriously? Mm -hmm. So they were seized actually to this, to the jaw, they weren't seized in the threads. Thank you. Look at how cool these jaws are, by the way. Oh, if you would focus a little bit. So that's the front, but look on the back, they have these counter board holes. And on the part of the device where they mount, there's also a kind of little part that interfaces with that. I haven't seen that before. Really nice. Right, I'm actually sweating. We're gonna use this stuff right here. This is a paint remover. No idea if it works. It's kind of a gel. I need to get out of here before I die of whatever kind of gas is coming off of this thing. Boy, that stinks. probably don't want it on your hands. Get you out of the way here so you also don't lose some brain cells in this process. And uh, open some doors, it's horrible. A little bit of fresh air in here. I think the idea is to schmoo this and then get the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. I'm slowly starting to feel dumber. Okay, it says it needs about two hours. All right, boys and girls, after that traumatic experience, let's move on to greener pastures. I've got the little blocks of wood cut here. I didn't film it because cutting wood on a miter saw is not particularly interesting. Um, what we're going to do is glue these together kind of like that. Before we glue it, we have to take a little bit of material off of each of these two inner 
glue joints so that this um, 45 degree angle is gone and also so the width is correct. So these are going to go directly under the vise, but above this plate here, like that. And we have to remove this little bit of material here, which we're going to do inside here. And then we'll glue them together. And then we'll drill some holes. And then we'll weld all this shit together. Go. Do it. I will let that do its thing. And in the meantime, let's drill some holes in the two steel plates. All right, so we got the mill scale off of all these joints that we need to weld. Now let's mark these out for some holes, both of these plates. So the wood that we glued up is going to be held on by these lag bolts through the plates. I've got three of them. So we need three holes there. This plate will get bolted into the concrete with four anchors. And the last three of these lag bolts will hold the vise onto the wood. We'll start off by drilling a small hole, so maybe five, four or five mil through each one, and then we'll follow it with the 10 mil bit. When it does that, by the way, and there's a chip spinning on it, never grab it by hand. Stop the drill and remove it. Because it'll catch your hand and fuck your whole life. So with the 10 mil bit, uh, make sure you go way slower. So. Like that is probably good. Um, take care also to break the chip. And when you're drilling big thick plate like this, it has a tendency to want to come up the drill when you get to the bottom of the hole. So really ease up on the pressure and be careful when you get to the bottom of the hole. Just see how it grabbed it a little bit and it came up. Normally when you do plate like this, you should clamp it down. But you know, Shoulda, woulda, coulda. That's a nice looking chip, by the way. That's how chips should look. So it's not blue. It's not too hot. Right, let's get these things all cleaned up and ready for welding. Best thing to use acetone. And an old sock. So my welder goes up to 200 amps. I think I'm gonna start in like 150. See if it if it's enough heat to get through this plate. But I have a quite small electrode and I don't have any bigger ones, so there's a chance that we might just send the electrode into a low earth orbit. First test. 160 amps. The torch is basically melting, so we're gonna give it a couple minutes. When you see this again, it'll be done. And so before the welder actually melts over there, I decided to check up on our schmoo here. Seems to be working. I think we're really up on the limit of the welder. So I'm welding at 160 amps. And after, I don't know, a minute or two, the torch gets basically too hot to even hold. The fan kicks on, all the cables are hot. It feels like it's going to explode at any second. So I decided to give it a little break. But our schmoo is schmooing nicely here. Paint is coming off. Oh, well, there you go. Not exactly weld porn, but... It'll do. It 
isn't it just to remind you of the good old days back in Detroit mixing up some cement not asking too many questions this whole workshop is the only thing I could find that's a container So according to the bottle of this thing, we need to wash it off with uh, warm water and soap. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if that's just going to make everything turn into a rusty mess. We'll find out. Seems to have worked quite well. All right, here we are in the kitchen. We're going to try to do a bit of bluing on these parts. So we take the last uh, scraps of vinegar here. Yee. And that's not really enough. Good luck, guys. So those are parts after the bluing. Honestly expected a little bit stronger of an effect, but minimum it removed the rust so they're nice and clean. And then maybe I'll paint the few components here and the jaws, I think I'll just hit them with a wire wheel and leave them how they are. I've gone ahead and started the grind, or rather ground these surfaces down that won't be painted. We'll follow that up with a flap disc. I made a little change to this piece here, so I welded on this nut on the back side so we don't one of these light bolts in from the bottom, but rather this hex bolt from the top. So I've got it countersunk in there. And the reason being is the post on which this is going to sit is going to be actually on this side of the bolt because the vise is quite heavy in the front or the mass is basically to the front, so I want to shift it back on the post so it's more or less centered. Organized some new bolts. Those are going to drop in there like that. And then over here, our concrete is curing. I made a little mark there in case somebody ever takes the spec apart. New day full of new horrors awaits us. It's Sunday in Germany today, so we have to be shh. What I want to do here is get all this extra paint off of the ways. And then we'll take a little bit of scotch brights, put some oil on it, and try to clean up this rust. We're going in, boys. I think WD-40 would work well in this case, but I don't have any. I do, however, have bicycle chain lubricant. It's actually working way better than I expected it would. Bit of rust is still in there. Nothing, a little bit of... Um... I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. You probably don't want to watch me do that. So what kind of music do we need during welding? Something like this? This one? Nah. There we go. That's where it's at. That's not too bad, right? You can do it!
I guess like many things in life, you don't want to go and dry a little bit of graisse universelle. Got everything nice and greased up. The ways the lead screw, the front of the lead screw here. And now let's assemble up the jaws. And we'll go, go ahead and do that with some of this fine NTCs. You're welcome next guy. When somebody takes this back apart in 2130, please find my grave and give me some flowers. I still need to hit everything here with a, a little bit of Scotch-Brite, so a Scotch-Brite wheel on the grinder, but today's Sunday, Germany. Not going to piss my neighbors off. A little bit of NTCs. And in you go. So what we found out last time was that it seized up right there on the cap of this screw. So we're gonna throw some entities on that for good measure. Nice. I wish I still had my stubby flathead, but it's okay. A battle was lost, but the war is won. You've given yourself for a noble cause, cheap, shitty, stubby flathead. You know, glitter is like the herpes of the art world. Well, NTCs is like the herpes of the mechanical world. When it gets somewhere, it's everywhere. NTCs, all of the things. And it's ready.